Kuzma underway. And from the opening face-off, the puck goes down center ice. Michigan will defend the goal down to our left. They'll be moving left to right. Out to center ice, and here come the Lions. Right after the Michigan line, they stood up. Nice job by Samuskevich putting back pressure on uh, the forward, Ryan Finnegan, and forcing him to, uh, off the puck. Now here's Duke, back the other way. Boy, he had Bantilli as a late man. Here's a long shot now that was high over everything. Michigan with uh, possession now. They lose it in the uh, Lindenwood zone, and the Lions come out center ice. Battle of Wolverines, fresh off the change. In they come, here's a shot. That shot by Rutger McGordy was blocked. Now taking it, that's it. Seamus Casey plays it out to the slot, but the Lions are there as they're packing it down around the goaltender. Now Steve Holtz, who uh, had a shortened injury uh, season last year. Good to see him out there. He's paired with Seamus Casey who we saw, Fred, in the game against the Canadian University Windsor, uh, was a pretty darn uh, Hughes-like. Yeah, puck-handling magician. He's a right shot, plays the left side. Now here's a long shot, and uh, Eric Portillo makes his first save of the season. Now back on top. Long shot, right in front. Oh, and Portillo got some help from... Uh, Stephen Holtz on the back door. That was a goal wide open, Fred. Yeah, three saves already for the six foot six inch junior Michigan goalie, Eric Portillo. Now Ciccolini plays it back into the middle. And here's Jackson Heller. We liked his game last week. Goes back out top. That's uh, Luca Fantelli. Until he plays it down to the corner. And out center rice. Come the Lions. Searcher right to the line. Right out in front. Ball and the puck went off the skates of, uh, of uh, Fantilli. Almost ended up in the goal. Now a long shot. Was knocked aside. We got a game's first penalty call. It's going to be on Michigan. Yeah, Luca Fantilli. Stick foul. Probably a cross check, I would think. And that all started. Michigan turned the puck over. About 15 feet inside the Lindenwood blue line, and they were in scramble mode defensively coming back. And after Al described the two on one, Lions came up with it again, and Luca Fantilli wound up taking the minor. Kuzma won the face off. Ganya has the puck down to the corner to Finnegan. Back out top. Sean Pertillo with a good save there. Now it goes back to Jeffries. He plays it in behind the goal for the Lions. Who have had the uh, better of this game so far in the early goal. And now the power plan is cleared by Luke Hughes all the way down the ice. Well, I think Linwood definitely gained confidence last Saturday when they lost 6-4 to four at Minnesota, but really acquitted themselves well. Actually led the hockey game 4-3 halfway through the second period. Now they come. Good hit. Jay Carriman. Unloaded on Caleb Price, who was the rushing defenseman that brought that puck into Michigan territory. Now ah, here's Nolan Boyle, his specialty, penalty killer. He's got that puck. He stick handles away from several lines, still has it. They try to knock him off the puck, he still has it. Finally they do, and a great job by Boyle killing off some clock. Yeah, he was out there with the stop, and they killed a good 30 seconds easy. Now the Lions, they have 44 seconds in the uh, power play, and Luke Hughes intercepts. He'll send it down the ice. We're just underway, four minutes into the first period. No score offside at the Lions' line. Well, it's uh, usually in this state, it's tough for the Lions to win. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, yeah, you had to take that shot. <laughs> Had to take that shot. This Lindenwood team, you know, they've got 18 freshmen and sophomore players. That's the second most in the country. Also a very tall team. 
tied for the second tallest team in the country, average height, six feet one inches per player on average, tied with Cornell. Vermont is the tallest team in college hockey, six, 1.6 inches on average per player. Well, we'll try to get a station break in here as they have no uh, stoppages during a power play. And it goes back to the point. Six seconds left to hear the old cowbell. Sounds as good as it did 100 years ago as it goes all the way down into Lindenwood territory. And they, the Wolverines have killed off the first power play of the game. And they had some chances for it. They did. They out shooting Michigan 4 0 right now. So Michigan getting its offense in gear. Down Tilly, down the ice. And his shot went wide. He was going over the glove hand low on the fire post. And now Sam Escavich gives. Ooh, Van Tilly stepped into his man. Nice check there. But out center ice, Johannes. Duke grounded to him. So the hitting is starting to pick up right now. And uh oh, there's a high hit on one of the Wolverines. That looks like Sam Escavich. Down in. Front of the bench, and that's going to be a penalty on Lindenwood. Maybe a five-minute major. Hunter Johannes is the penalized player. Referees had a quick discussion, and they are going to subject this to further review. Are they or not? No, nope, maybe not. Oh, it is. Referees tonight. Andy Thackerberry and Jonathan Satarski, Chris Libet and Nicholas Bett are the linesmen. And it is Andy Thackerberry in the video review booth. As we talked to Steve Petrowski, the Big Ten director of officials last week, there are some rule changes this year, and many of them apply to video review. Referees, as we saw in the exhibition game last Saturday, can review a penalty with an eye towards making it a major or making it a major in game misconduct or major in game disqualification. So this is two minutes for sure. The question is whether it warrants five. We have not gotten a replay of the infraction on the video board. All right, while we're waiting, let's take that. Chicken's power play features Adam Fantilli between Dylan Duke and T.J. Hughes with Hunter McGrory and Luke Hughes on the back end. If you're just new to this roster, T.J. and Luke Hughes not related. A face off win by the Wolverines. They'll set it up. Now Fantilli up on the near point right-hand side. Luke Hughes dances in the middle out on the deep slot. Fantilli comes in, took the shot, and uh, that was blocked and sent back down the ice as uh, Trent Burnham makes his first save of the game. Now the Wolverines come in again, round the boards on the uh, wraparound. Now Duke plays it to the corner to TJ Hughes to Fantilli out for Luke Hughes, and it's sent down the ice. Luke will leave it on the boards for Fantilli as Michigan will regroup in their own zone on this power play and see if they can get the game's first goal here on the first game of the new season. Now a pass intended for McGordy just missed and now it's the Lions chopping it out to center ice. No score of the first. Michigan moving on left to right. They have the puck in their own zone. Now Brindley, he can fly up the right-hand side. He comes in, he shoots, and the save. Finally, goaltender Trent Burnham now goes back to the uh, point to Seamus Casey as the number two unit is out. Shot, that went high off the goaltender Burnham. Now turning is Brindley with a drive in there. Callum after the rebound, they play it. Truscott did up the near side. Now here comes T.J. Hughes, played it to the corner. Hughes back out for Seamus Casey. He finds Truscott. Oh, they try to go on a backdoor pass, but that didn't fail to click. 
Oh, there's one over the top of the goal as Brindley goes in behind the goal. No score in the first period. We played the seven, a little over seven minutes, and it goes down the ice, penalty over. So the Lions survived the Wolverine power play. Yeah, survived the first unit. Second unit had a little bit more pressure. It was able to set up inside the Linwood zone, but not able to generate any significant opportunities. Uh oh, giveaway. Oh, and Bertillo had to come out and challenge uh, Ryshinsky. And an errant pass by Michigan that uh, allowed him an avenue right toward the goal as the puck goes out of play. Face off outside of Rice's drapery. Goes nose to nose. Perhaps with an old acquaintance as uh, Johannes and he are nose to nose. Well, there's Linda with the lineup. We told you the second tallest team on average in the country, but bolstered by a couple of players, Kieran Rosensky. Six foot six out of Calgary, Alberta, and another Albertan number seven, Drew Kuzma, is also six. six. I think Drace is telling them, hey, you hit one of my forwards like that again, you're gonna answer the pick, right? This does give him a little support for Sam Escavich, who really got nailed high. As the face off deep. In Lindenwood territory. And uh, a big step by him there. He's out there with Draper. And also, uh, Nick Nalowitz had a great goal last week. Picturesque as he was flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Now the puck back into Lion territory. Back along the point. As Holtzy tried to find... Fantilli on the near side. Now Estapa play it back to the corner. Big Estapa goes in there, flipped it on in front, ends up on the far side, picked up by Johannes. Johannes on the backhand uh, shot that was uh, blocked by Holtz out of play. Face off coming up to Michigan territory. Well, Michigan has now almost pulled even the Lindenwood in the shots on goal department, but the more you talk to Head coach Brandon Narada, he realizes he doesn't devalue shots, but uh, he's not so interested in shot volume as he is shot quality. And that's uh, something we'll, we'll keep an eye on. See he's, how that trend develops with his team. He said on Tuesday night show that Corsi system is way outdated. <laughs> the Corsi style doesn't mean anything anymore. I'd rather keep the puck. Now it goes Anderson on the near side, played it for Gagne in behind the goal. They roll it out in front of Portillo's crease. Plenty of Wolverines there to cover up. Fantilli took a high hit. Boy, it's a physical game, is it not? Against a pretty big Lindenwood squad. And they're back in a uh, neutral zone trap as they just defy Michigan to try to break that trap. And it comes out to Jay Carroll in the center. Now Keith Pearson, alternate captain this year. It's great to see him wearing that big A. He plays it in the Lindenwood territory so the Wolverines can change him up with no score here in the first period, almost halfway through. Now Jeffries to Seltzer. And uh, he couldn't get the uh, shot off. Luke Hughes has the puck. Plays it ahead for McGordy. That's going to be uh, icing call. They're going to wave it off because Michigan got to the puck first. Right out in front. Oh, and a great save by Burnham on a deflection right on his doorstep. Well, Nolan Moyle out working with a couple of freshmen and Gavin Bridley and Rutger McGordy, two talented freshmen. And there was a centering feet from the corner and tip that almost squeezed between the legs. 22-year-old uh, freshman goalie Trent Burnham, who's from Eagle River, Alaska. On the face off, it comes down center, where Hughes winds up in his own zone. He can go. He'll play it up on the right wing. Boyle's long shot wide of the goal. Look, Ricochet all the way back on center. Truscott with it there. As Hughes circles around in his own zone with the puck. Slides it down the ice. That's an icing call on the Wolverines.
Adams will go back down by Eric Portillo, who's been sharp here. He's had to be in the first uh, 10 minutes of this game. Shots 5-5. Five, five. One of the things that Michigan freshmen will have to get used to is the way this decor activates, especially Luke Hughes. He's led the rush a couple of times already tonight, and if the puck precedes Luke Hughes out of the zone back the other way, those forwards better be ready to play a little D. Michigan won that face off. They sent it down the ice. They're going to wave it off. And the play continues. Back in the Michigan territory with no score in the first. Hallam is uh, hit from behind on the cross check. There's going to be a penalty. And going to the box is Max Neal. And Michigan's going to get their second power play. Yeah, not a good penalty for Rick Samba. Eight in the second game, two for five in the opening night win, four nothing. So Michigan has to make these chances count. So Sam Estavich with the puck. Over on the near side, Fantilli's either pass or shot. In the middle was deflected. Michigan will hold it in though. Sam Estavich back to Hughes, long shot. Rebound by McCord. He went over the top of the goal. And a whistle as somebody lost some equipment down there. Yeah, the jousting between Kiernan Roshensky and Dylan Duke. Duke, the net front forward for Michigan on this power play. They were battling tooth and nail. And after the Luke Hughes rebound, the goalie Burnham lost his glove. And that's cause for an immediate stop. It's not as immediate as it was last year. Uh, we can explain that's one of the rule changes this year. Hello, Wolverine, Sam Escavich. Fantilli shot, rebound. Oh, that thing was bouncing around in there. McGordy tried to settle it down and slam it home, but couldn't. Yeah, Aiden Yakinchuk. Stick on stick on McGordy, or it's 1 0. Now Hughes all the way down in front of the shot. And the save made. And uh, back it comes into Michigan territory. Half of the uh, power play is gone. Up comes Samuskevich at center, racing up the left-hand side, around the defense. He goes in, he plays it out in front. And it hit the goaltender, and Burnham didn't know where it was, but his defense helped him out. Or Samuskevich can fly, can he? If he shows that speed all season with the shot he's got, he's going to contend for the goal-scoring lead on this team. Now Helen will play it right through the goal box. Truscott played it around the board. Seamus Casey out now. Casey trying to keep that puck in, get some help from uh, Hughes hustling. Now Truscott, he's in, he shoots. The puck's off the uh, shoulder. A bird amount of play, face off coming up. Should mention this year, if a goaltender loses a piece of equipment, his glove or blocker, other than his helmet, if there's an imminent scoring chance, the referee will let the play develop until the scoring chance is finished and then blow the whistle. If, he, if the goalie loses his mask helmet, then it's, it's automatic right away. And if the goalie displaces his own mask to get a whistle? Penalty. <laughs> <Good. laughs> All right, here's out to the side now. T.J. Hughes to Truscott. Back to Hughes in front. Well, they're packing it down in front of the goaltender. They're not letting anything through. Here is Casey. Casey didn't like what he saw. He comes back out, penalty over. And the Lions back to full strength. The Lindenwood Lions in their first season. The Wolverines after 100 years in season 101. Here's a shot. And it never got through. And back out center ice they come. Watch, there's two of them. They come in, and they score! Finnegan took the shot, the rebound put home by Johannes, and it's 1-0. Two-on-one executed perfectly. I'll correct myself, that was uh, Damon that scored the goal. Yep, David Gannon, number 27. That started... Kind of a crazy change by the Lions. Everyone was flying onto the ice. Michigan, their players activated, thinking there was an odd man, but when the puck didn't get through down below the hash marks, it went the other way for the two-on-one, and they were able to get it.
past Eric Portillo with the Lions six shot on goal in this game. And so the Lions lead Michigan. One nothing as it's tipped back in the Wolverine territory. Well, that's what the Lions had to do. Come in here, get the crowd out of it. They've done that. Here's a nice thing call on Michigan back down by Eric Fertilla. We go. And Eric Portillo didn't have much chance on the goal. We mentioned it was a two on one. And usually as a defender, you want to make sure the pass gets taken away. The pass was still made. And Eric Portillo was playing the shooter more, it looked like, than the pass. And there was lots of room for Gannon to risk it home for the game's first goal. Neal goes against the stop. Uh, the Wolverine set it down the ice, and uh, perhaps that puck went into the player's bench, hit somebody over there. So they're going to allow him to change, and he'll be back in the Michigan territory. Wolverines will bring out uh, the Bantilli line with uh, Duke and Thomas Davis. Hughes and Truscott, the defensive pair with him. Going against Max Neal. And one by Michigan, they'll just flip it on center. And the Lions are quickly to respond right back to the Michigan line. Bumped down to the corner. Luke Hughes in his own right-hand side. All the way over to the left circle. Pass to Fantilli. Fantilli eyes it up. Plays it in front. Steered by Duke. Right on. Save was made by Burnham. Picked up by the defense. And by Adam Conquist, the winger, and he got it out center. Now Fantilli comes back to grab that one. That pass was dangerous out in front of his own zone. A little backhand sauce, you're right. Now it's uh, Duke to center ice. He'll dump it in. Michigan go for a line change. They trail the Lindenwood Lions 1-0. Now Allard. It was bumped by Holtz off the puck, and Holtz stepped into Andy Willis. As uh, now Willis steals, comes in and scores! Willis scores 2 0. The Lindenwood Lions are up here at Yost Arena. Wolverines tried to bring the puck out on the right side. But Steve Holtz's intended backhand pass for T.J. Hughes was picked off and taking it right to the goal for his first as a lion was Andy Willis. So this is certain to send uh, some eyebrows raised throughout the college hockey world if this holds after 20 minutes. Michigan's youth showing here. Here's McCordy. His shot blocked. Michigan's had a lot of shots blocked here in the first period. Well, it was 64 blocks last weekend by Lynn Wood in that series at Minnesota. Now back down into Michigan territory. Holtzy plays it way up Boyle. Nolan Boyle stops on the right-hand side. Right by the circle. Wait for his teammates to catch up. He takes a hit. And Brindley played it out in front, trying to get to McCordy, but it was broken up. Now, here come the Lions again, leading Michigan 2 0. Johannes is shot, and Portillo makes the save. Well, I don't think anybody expected a score like this here on Michigan's home ice. But give the lot of credit to this Lions squad. They're, they just keep coming at you, don't they? Yeah, they play a selfless game. You talked about how they're packing it in in front of their netminder and blocking every possible shot they can and uh, opportunistic offensively. Cashing in in the two on one and then also cashing in on a turnover that Michigan provided to the centerman Willis for the 2 0 lead. So eight shots by Lindenwood, a 2 0 lead. So this becomes now a good test for Brandon Murata, Brandon Murata's young squad. They got the 12 freshmen. I'm a big believer in the team's identity is developed early in the season. 
and this is an opportunity to work on the comeback trail. Estapa goes against uh, Zach Augie. And it's uh, controlled by the Lions. They'll flip it. It goes out of play. Well, I think Granowitz was uh, wondering why, since he got to the puck first on the icing, that it was whistled down as an icing. Well, it's the decision has to be made by the hash marks or earlier. And that was one of those pucks that was a ring around puck, right? So it's it's not always who gets there first. Yeah, it's who's projected. Oh, there's Pertillo. Boy, he made a really good save on the second shot as uh, Lindenwood came oh so close to making a 3 nothing. Samus Davis took a big hit. Yeah, he got hammered again. Looks like he came up into the neck head area. And uh, the play continues. Here's a Stelzer. Luke Hughes put a shoulder into him. Trucks get deep in Michigan territory. Now here's Hughes. Up down to Fantilli. Down to Samuskevich. Trying to go back to Fantilli. Samuskevich back to Fantilli again. Here's a keep piercing shot. Burnham with a save. 13 saves in the first period for him. Here's Finnegan over the line. Three on two developing. Here's the shot. That was by Kuzma, and it'll ricochet all the way back down the ice to Granowitz. And they stepped into him, knocked him off the puck. Boy, this Lindenwood team is really hitting the Wolverines here. Here's a shot. That was high off the uh, blocker of Burnham. And it's picked up by Jay Karen, and he plays it in front and uh, cleared out of there by uh, Ganya as it goes out center ice. Now back into Lindenwood territory. We got a penalty call coming. Here's a shot. Touched by Granowitz. We got a hooking call coming up on the, the Lions. Michigan to their third power play, and they got to start taking advantage of some of these. Yeah, Michigan has to cash in here. Late first period. The 17 19 mark. And we'll see what has been. That's far early in the season, the number two power play unit. And Sam Miskevich's line was just out there with Adam Fantilli. So it's Brindley, Ciccolini, Hallam up front with Casey and Truscott on the back end, face off deep in Lindenwood territory. Great to see Eric Ciccolini back in a Michigan uniform after all the injuries that poor kid has had over his career. He got his 15 minutes worth of fame last week yeah. after that spectacular goal. Eighth goal of the game against Windsor. Now, Michigan comes in. Ciccolini shot off the side of the goal. Now it is the score! And off to the side of the goal. That was Jackson Hallam for his first career goal as a Michigan Wolverine. And Michigan has brought the score to a one-goal deficit for two to one. Comes 25 seconds into the penalty to Colton Wilkie. And it's just Jackson Hallam being opportunistic. The 20 year old out of Eakin, Minnesota, side of the net. Rutger McGroarty or Gavin Brindley with a backhander from close range. And the rebound was right there, and Hallam made no mistake. So Michigan did what they had to do. For some reason, we're not getting the PA feed up here as we're supposed to. So we'll have to work on that. Now, first game for everybody, I guess. Now it's uh, Hughes up to the side of the goal. Now Samuskevich banging it around behind the goal in Lindenwood territory. Uh, Duke winds up. This shot blocked. Another shot. That blocked also. That's Alliance will scoop it out center. And uh, Kuzma, uh oh, in front, bidding it. He had a chance and it was knocked down. 
Coming across the uh, slot was uh, Tuscott to knock him off his skates. Now the teams are changing. Two to one the score, minute 14 left in the first period. Michigan trailing by that one goal. Now Brindley, he finds Moyle coming in. That drive, and Burnham knocked it away. Now in behind is uh, Pearson. Way in deep for the Wolverines. Trying to get the equalizer, perhaps before the first intermission. Here's Pearson's shot. That one off the skate. Here's another shot. That's blocked. Scooped up by Jeffers. Out center ice he comes. Up the ice he comes and he shoots. And Portillo had to come out and challenge him and make the save. 35 seconds left of the first. Two to one Lindenwood. Now they play it up on the boards. The Wolverines take it away. Steve Holtz will chase it all the way back into his own zone with 22 seconds left. And the Wolverines trailing two to one. Here in the first. Now Arkastapa's long shot. Glumped down by Burnham. They'll try to kill the clock now as they slowly come up the center. Now they race up the ice. They'll drop it into the corner in Michigan territory. Bertillo played it. Wide open net. Oh! At the horn as Andy Willis, who already has it. And now to scholarship at Lake State. And, you know, the, the numbers that they're talking about. But it's, it's a gift that lasts forever, right? I mean, it, it really is a... Just such a, a notable endeavor. Well, Tom and Alice, if you're listening, we're going to dedicate this period to you. All right, two to one. Michigan goes right to left down to start the second. They trail two nothing as Burnham will make a save. That young man's been busy so far. 19 shots of the game, and we're just in underway in the second. Well, he faced uh, 34 shots last Friday or last Saturday. Make that Minnesota did on Trent Burnham. Over in trying to hold it in from the draw. And it comes up. And the pass up to Finnegan picked off by Hughes as that pass was telegraphed just enough for Luke. Now it goes in front. Sam Escavich. Checking things out on the circle. Nice move. Shot score! Forty-four seconds into the second period. A goal scores goal, as they say. Sam Estevich collects the puck off the boards. Looks off Bantilli, looks off Truscott, keeps, shoots himself, low blocker side. There's the look to Fantilli, the look to Truscott, then the shot. And guess who was right there? Providing a little screen on the goalie. Dylan Duke, that's gonna be his office this season. We get possession. Dylan Duke is headed to the front of the net. Brand new uh, game, 2-2. That goes back. Here's Ben Lee, quick shot. Caroms are out in there. And it comes down, down the ice. So, uh, Brindley, he's in. He passes the wall. And a good defensive play by the backside defenseman, Jack Anderson. Now, here comes Michigan again, McGordy. Out at center ice with Brindley. Into the zone, they crisscross, left it there. And a, Nice back check by Willis, who has a goal in the game. For Linden, when he comes in, he fakes the shot. Now he lost possession, and the Holtz will pick it up. His teammates call him Holtzy. It goes out center. Ah, Ciccolini races over on the far side, chasing that puck down. Ooh. And uh, he lost an edge, went into the boards, but he's okay. Now Hallett laid it around, kept it alive. Jackson Hallett with uh, his uh, first career goal tonight and TJ Hughes plays it out here's Pearson shoots right in blocker save as a Burnham went down blocker along the ice in behind the goal came out again here's uh, Keaton Pearson right in front and that was a steer to sign now there's Hughes oh he got hit high not right down but he got the puck over 
As uh, Pearson shot, went to uh, wide of the goal. And we'll have a stoppage as uh, Burnham decides to hang on. Face off coming up. Smart play by Burnham because of the line of T.J. Hughes, Eric Ciccolini, and Jackson Allen had simply hemmed the Lions in with mesmerizing puck control. And this long change could work to the detriment of the Lions. Michigan has had a strong start to this second period. Got the goal from Sam Eskevich, 44 seconds in. Then that two-on-one by Gavin Brindley and Seamus Casey. Like to see Gavin Brindley be a little selfish there because he was in the better position when he dished off. Took the puck from a great A scoring position area to a B plus maybe. Like to see him shoot the puck from there. Adam Conquest pickpocketed by Tuscott, hands it off to Duke. Shot that deflects uh, into the netting on the play as it went over the head of John Siktarski. One of the two referees for the game. Well, we're only three minutes and three seconds into the second period, but it looks as if the message in that Michigan locker room at the intermission was, listen to it. Hey, boys, warm-up is over. Let's play now. I'd say Michigan kind of sleepwalked through that first period, but it wasn't their best effort, was it? No. Much different. Here's Drinker. Played it off to the side of the goal. Following up on the play was Estepa. Now Seamus Casey. He walks it right down in behind the goal. Now it's in behind the net. They'll have a penalty call. Cross check. Looks like it's going to number eight of the Lions, Kyle Jeffers. Jeffers, the young man who scored first D1 goal in Lions history. 15.07 mark of the first period last Sunday in a 6-4 loss at Minnesota. Well, you can't accuse Rick Zombo of uh, ducking opponents to start his first year D1 hockey game. <laughs> Starts with Minnesota, at Minnesota, then at Michigan. And then, isn't it North Dakota next week or somebody like that? I think it is. Not far away. They got Wisconsin and Denver. Oh, what? Oh, four Wisconsin, Thursday. Denver. Power play number four for the Wolverines with 21 shots on goal. Adam Fantilli between McGrady and Duke. Sam Eskevich and Luke Hughes. Man the points. Nice face off win by Michigan. McGrady to Hughes. Saucer over to Fantilli, top of the far circle. He still has it. As uh, Fantilli comes in, he eyes things up, shoots, scores! And the Scavenger's going down! And a power play! Michigan with the lead, 3 2. Well, Sam Iskevich, the recipient of the goal. But it was Adam Fantilli starting it with the shot after he took the feed from Luke Hughes. But it's Dylan Duke again, side of the net. He jammed at it the first time. And he didn't put it in, but it came off the pads of uh, Burnham. Right onto the stick of Mackie Sam Iskevich, And he made no mistake for a third, less far unanswered goal by the Wolverines. Hey, John Cooper says he's got a place for Bill and Duke down there, huh? <laughs> well, he, he wants to stand in front of the net with a power play. Well, he really worked on his skating, smoothing out that stride over the summer. So that, that's the only thing that's holding him back. Is oh! Blue line to blue line. A Stampa and Augie, nose to nose, two big boys there. And a Stampa got the better of that hit. Oh, and they hit him again. And it goes out center. Augie in the middle. Off to the side. For Tiller. Great save there. Boy, he got to the net too easy, I think. And here's Granowitz. Trailer. Luca Fantilli. Takes a look. 
Back up top, he finds uh, Seamus Casey. Casey all the way in deep. All the way around the net, watch him go. Here is Fantilli, Luca Fantilli. Open. Trouble controlling the rebounds. And that rebound was spit back out, and Nick Granowitz made no mistake a four straight Michigan goal. And 4.49 in period number two, Michigan now with 24 shots and four goals after Mackey Samuskevich scored a pair. Nick Granowitz has his first of the season. Well, that's a good sign. Grano had one last week in the exhibition game that was. One of those Bobby Orr type goals, wasn't it? Where he was flying through the air. Now Hallam. Jackson Hallam already has a goal as they plummet it down out in front. And uh, the Lions are shaken up a bit. They don't know what hit him here. And uh, that the Lions went, went right back. And Augie was. Uh, Lost the puck, get some help though from his line mate Finnegan. Finnegan played it out in front, too many Wolverines there. And up comes Moyle at center. Nolan Moyle, chip down, it goes into the Michigan bench, face off out at center. I don't see any uh, assists for the Sam Escavich goal yet. Well, that was a power play marker, so. You're thinking Dylan Duke. I thought Duke had one assist. Yeah, he, he had the initial whack at the rebound, and then Fantilli had back the on the point. Fantilli with the shot. Yep. Now goes back in to Lion territory. As a Hughes brings it in, shoots, and that uh, went off the face mask of the uh, goaltender Burnham. He's shaking his head a little bit. That goes out of play. Face off stays inside. Yeah, Luke Hughes cut in from that left side. And he spotted an opening. Just a couple of widths of the puck. Just over the blocker shoulder of goaltender Burnham. And I think it went stick mask. Not in. Oh, other penalty should be. Oh, they didn't call it. Hughes got tripped, and uh, they didn't call it. Here's a shot wide of the Michigan goal. Oh, they missed that. Now here's Hughes. Back in, he shoots, one over the top of the goal. Now Dylan Duke to Truska. That was blocked. Michigan Duke will play it back in while Michigan changes up. The shots now 26 to 11, Michigan at a 4 2 lead after trailing 2 0. Here's McGordy charging to the net as Willis chopped it off his stick. Uh oh, giveaway. Here's Kernan scores! Jay Michigan guilty of turning the puck over the first period, but Lindenwood has certainly topped them in that department. Jay Karanen jumping on a errant pass, and from the top of the circle, or it wasn't an errant pass, it was tape to tape, tape, tape. after a steal along the boards. That was, yep, that was uh, Def Keaton Pearson. Defense partner Keaton Pearson. I'm kind of surprised no goalie change for these Lions. They only have two goalies dressed. A graduate from Ferris State, Ronnie Salmon Kangas, is the backup tonight. Brent Ladd, or Matt Ladd, rather, is also on the depth chart, but he is not dressed, so just one of the goalie available. Both graduates. Oil. Stick handling around the maze of Lions. A shot 
on the net by Holtz goes out of play. Face off coming up. Well, Lindenwood looked like a D1 team in the opening 20. Here in the first 735 of the second period, they've reverted to more of a what you'd expect from a D1. You know what they call them expansion teams, but a first year team for sure. Winning another one here is Granowitz again in that slot with that low shot went glove side and it's grabbed by Burnham. Face off coming up. Well, all the pressure, all the goals by the Wolverines right now, but uh, let's not forget about Eric Portillo and the work he's done. Just 11 shots, but Zach Augie had the last one. It was not a clear cut breakaway, but he was in alone and Portillo made an exciting left pad save. Or who knows how the momentum swings. Well, Estapa with another faceoff win, but it ended up being controlled by the Lions. Lindenwood Lions. I told you the Lions had trouble winning in Michigan. Here is Estapa. He stopped. They dropped it back in the slot. High up over the shoulder. Estapa with the goal, 6-2. Still no movement on that Lindenwood bench to replace Trent Burnham. He did not look very good on that last goal. Down early, a lot of room over his glove shoulder, and that's where a stop a beat him. So Michigan has erupted for five second period goals after scoring, I think, their most important goal in the power play late in that first period when Lindenwood had them flustered. Well, we hope uh, Coach Brandon uh, recorded that <laughs> between period speech because <laughs> whatever they said, this is a different team than we saw in the first period. <laughs> now the Lions come over the line. DJ Hughes trying to work it out over the line. Now here's a quick shot line of Bartolo's crease. And the Wolverines will bring it out. There's Helen. He can fly. He's coming down the left hand side looking for a wingmate to Hughes, but it was intercepted. As Allard will play it down in on Pertillo, who steers it aside. Keith Pearson will it out center. We're nearing the halfway point of the hockey game. Michigan with five goals here in less than nine minutes. That's nuts. Here's up Antilli. Bounces around in there. Adam Fantilli got it to Samuskevich, who already has two goals. Now here is that puck again. Off to the side of the goal. Here's a shot. And it went wide and out of play. Faceoff coming up. That last goal by Marcus Stapa came at the 807 mark from Seamus Casey and Nick Granowitz. Stapa scores early. This season didn't get his first goal last year till December 4th against Minnesota. Only had two goals last year, but uh, the goal total did not belie his uh, importance to the team, the role he played in that second half. Big body, big frame. Wow. 30 shots already on goal for Michigan. Halfway through the game. Pantilli for the face off. Brought out center by Watson of Lindenwood. As the Lindenwood Lions, a little shell shot. Michigan with an explosion here, and here they come again. Duke coming down the ice, played it to the far boards. In behind the goal, Duke goes after it again. Sam Escavich run off the puck. Tries to fight through a check. Goes in behind the goal. Lions lose it. 
up front. Here's Casey. He shoots. Rebound. Oh, and that's put wide of the goal. Now they'll try to keep it in. Michigan does. Holtz stood right up at the line. Here's Sam Escavich. Sam Escavich is shot. And the Burnham got a piece of that one. The shots. 32 for Michigan. Mackey Sam Escavich bidding for the second period hat trick. He scored 44 seconds into this period and then again exactly three minutes later. Sam Escavich coming off a 10 goal 29 point freshman campaign with an excellent second half. Six goals 12 assists in the last 19 games during that Big Ten playoff championship title run and on to the NCAA tournament with three more games played there. Ryan Brindley goes into the faceoff circle. As uh, Hughes brings it in. And Burnham had to cover up with Wolverines all over the place. And we have a salvage of one. Hello, Wolverines have just poured it out here, Fred. Total domination in this second period. Five consecutive goals out shooting Lindenwood 15 to 2. Now Hughes walks it all the way over to the left hand side. Wrangled off the side of the net. Boyle has it. We've got a slashing call. Going to be on Michigan. I think Nolan Boyle's going to go in. That's a familiar place for him. Nolan Moyle served a couple of minors in the exhibition game against Windsor. And this could stem the tide that has been washing up on the Linden Lions doorstep in front of Trent Burnham. Kuzma goes against Estapa. As uh, Estapa out. And Grelowitz, who has a goal and an assist, has the penalty killers for Coach Brandon. Now it comes over the line. Round the boards it goes, up by the uh, blue line. Dumped back in behind. Kuzma has it there. Tried to shovel it out in front for Finnegan, but it was blocked and carried out center by Michigan. Here's the Grelowitz. To Estapo, who plays it all the way around and back out center, killing the clock. And they'll uh, wait and dump it back down into Lindenwood territory, get a line change in. Fantilli comes out, Adam Fantilli, and Sam Escavich. Killing penalties, Seamus Casey. Keaton Pearson back on the defense. Jeffers plays it around the boards, and it comes out by the line, chipped back to the corner. Now an errant pass picked off by Anna Fantilli. Sam Escape is trying to catch up with the play, and he does, and he brings it in front. He flagged. Oh! And somebody got a stick in it and tipped it just over the stick of Adam Fantilli, or that was a shorthanded goal. Now it's Fantilli stealing again. And he'll send it back into his own territory. Eric Pertillo will get in on the uh, action. He left it there for Hughes. Hughes brings it out center. Hughes takes right, goes left, plays it in front. Brindley unable to steer that in, but he'll bring it all the way back out to Truscott, back into Michigan territory with 13 seconds left of the power play. And Michigan has had the better chances. I was just going to say of the final minute of the penalty to Moyle, Michigan's possessed the puck. Good 45 seconds. Now it comes out at center, penalty over, Moyle is out, Hallam has the puck, he races down the right-hand side, cuts to the middle, backhand shot, here's another shot. That was by Moyle as he tried to jam home the rebound. It remains 6-2 Michigan, 6.50 left here in the second. Luca Pantilli played it in behind the goal. And a 6-2 Michigan lead as it set in behind the Michigan goal. Battling over there is Jay Carolyn, who scored earlier. His third career goal as the uh, puck comes here on the near side. Grabbed off now by Jay Carolyn. 
He'll slide it over for Luca Fantilli. Up the ground of and here they come. Allen trying to drag it to the middle. That didn't work. Now the Wolverines will gang up on the puck, three of them. Boyle will take it. Nolan Boyle back in behind the goal. Now Michigan changing. And up to center ice. That's Johannes. He plays it in behind the Michigan goal. The Wolverines will pick it up that quickly and away to center ice they come. Look how quickly they can transition as that puck knocked away back all the way out center. Now Ciccolini to Draper. Draper will drop it back in to Lindenwood territory. 6-2 Michigan here in the second. After Lindenwood had a 2-1 lead after the first five goals here. Here's a shot. And Seamus Casey got it all the way through, scooped up by the Lions, and they'll lift it to center. Now Johannes stops just inside the Michigan blue line as they try to weave a pattern, but everybody got back for Michigan. Now Johannes into the slot. Allard fakes, now he shoots, that went wide. And T.J. Hughes will scoop up the rebound. He comes out with Ciccolini and Draper. Here's Ciccolini to Draper in front, the shot. Draper was tackled. And to Hughes, that leg, oh, and the crowd is yelling. As uh, I think Draper had it up. He finally will whistle it down. The uh, Lindenwood Lion player that's tangled up with Draper would not let him go. And finally, Draper just put his <laughs> arm around his head, pulled him to the ice. Yeah, just reached back with the right arm, headlock. And swung him over. That's uh, number 10 for the Lions, Mitch Allard. Young man out of Shelby Township, Michigan. A couple of Michiganders on this Lindenwood team. Adam Conquest, senior left wingers from Brighton. Zach DeBosar, who's our studio host today, is also from Shelby Township. Is everybody from Shelby Township? What is this? I know it's north of Detroit, but we always called it the east side. Now he's down into the corner. Hughes fakes. Now he shoots. Got all the way through to Burnham. Who's now seen 36 shots on goal. Yeah, you would expect. 40 shots before this second period expires. Renewed emphasis on faceoff performance this year by Michigan. And that only makes sense. Start with possession. Good things can happen. Marcus Stoppa wins another faceoff. They try to throw the puck in front. Rolls out center, though. Back in the Michigan territory. We're down to our right. Now coming on the near side. Heads down into Lion territory, down to our left. Across the way, loose puck comes out in the slot. Now it goes uh, left to right, out center. Here come the Lions. And Michigan had everybody covered that time. Far side is Max Neal. He got thumped by Jake Truscott. And a pass across for Vosnik. That failed to uh, click as it goes on the far side. I guess it's actually pronounced Wozniak, but up in Alpena and Roger City, they say Wozniak. Now here's a shot. What a save by Portillo. He came over and deflected over the top of the crossbar, and the puck came out center. That's how you'd say it if you're picking up your punch keys? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> every Fat Tuesday. Actually, it was probably every Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Now the Wolverines will roll it down the ice. A lot of great hockey fans up in the Alpena area. Now it goes back into Michigan territory. 3.15 left here. In this, the second period, Michigan uh, trailing 2-1 to one coming into this one. Has scored five times to make it 6-2. Shots on goal, 18-2 to two now, Michigan, in this second period with those five goals. So the Lions 
That's all. He's looking out center. Now he'll uh, come in over the line. He has the puck, plays it out in front. Bertillo with one save. And the rebound was flipped over the top of the net. Augie again, shoots, score! That didn't look good. It ended up not looking good for Michigan. And it's now 6 3. So Augie gets the goal. Yeah, just a third shot on net by Lindenwood in this middle frame. But it was an inability by the Wolverines to clear their own zone. Had a couple of opportunities to do so. And then inevitably, it puck found its way onto the stick of Clarkston, Michigan native Zach Augie. He scores his first career goal, a transfer from the Maine Black Bears is Augie. Here comes Jay Carolyn. He slid it in behind the goal. Draper has it on the far side. And Keenan Draper plays it. It's going to be a penalty call, delayed penalty call. Portillo to the bench. Michigan with the extra attacker. Brindley in the center. Shoots. And behind the net it goes. Played up the boards. Touched by the Lions. And another power play from Michigan. Power play number five coming up. In this infraction to the defenseman Kieran Roshensky. Two minutes for tripping. He is the lone NHL draftee on this Lindenwood roster. Kieran Roshensky out of Calgary, Alberta, draft pick of the Montreal Canadiens. So Michigan's power play comes right back out. As Al mentioned, Sixth power play chance of the game. Two for five already. Fantilli, Duke, McGrory, Samuskevich, and Hughes, the fivesome. Face off win. Wolverines. Luke Hughes, left point. Out to the deep slot. Samuskevich is shot on the net. And a late pass save is cleared down the ice. Fantilli comes out to steer it up for Hughes. With speed through the neutral zone, all by himself. Hughes, all the way in. He shoots, trying to go five hole, and Burnham closed that five hole, and it was set down the ice in the Michigan territory. Boy, can he fly or what? Huh? I have to keep pitching myself. That's a defenseman. <laughs> yeah, he gets in that express lane, doesn't he? <laughs> there he goes again. Drop by Fantilli to thwart that breakaway. Caused the puck just to, for a second to trickle off the uh, stick of Stelzer. And Stelzer couldn't uh, control. So six to three the score. One minute left to the second. We'll go back to Zach the Bozart for our intermission. And be back with the third period. Here's Truscott keeping it on the line. And the shot knocked away by Burnham on this Michigan power play, and it's sent down the ice. Good puck movement. Casey, Brindley, Hallam wound up with a one time effort right from the low slot against Netminder Burnham. Brindley up to Hallam, streaking in. In front, shot, another shot. 18 seconds left. Casey, oh, there goes 300 bucks. A broken stick by Truscott. He'll go and get another one from the bench. As they kind of center it out in front at the uh, horn.
Seamus Casey, Adam Fantilli, two assists each, and Luca Fantilli, Rutger McGordy, and Gavin Bridley, all with their first career points assists. All right, Michigan goes down the other way now to the far end of the rink. Then that puck goes out of play. We want to thank uh, Zach DeBozart, who's doing our, our hosting tonight, a uh, Michigan native. And, uh, of course, that means that uh, San Francisco has their Debo, and we have ours. Ah. Thirty-nine okay. shots. I mentioned Luke Hughes leads all players in the game with six. Although Cool Hand does not have a point tonight. Now back in the Michigan territory, Truscott left it for Hughes. That's Luke at center. Comes up and uh, offside. Didn't get a chance to uh, play the second part of our. Uh, pre-game show interview with coach Brandon Arado. I may mention the fact that Bob Motzko told his star defenseman Brock Faber this week uh, probably going to use you less this season and Brock Faber's words out of his out of his mouth was how much less <laughs> when I posed the same question to Brandon Arado about Luke Hughes he said I can guarantee you we won't be playing Luke Hughes any less this season maybe more They'd play him 40 minutes if they could. Holt's got it up to Fantelli to Samuskevich with two goals. Way ahead for Dylan Duke. Coming hard from the outside, pushed off the puck. Actually a pretty good uh, defensive play by Joe Prody. And we have a, an offside call at the line. Yeah, Prody just would not let go of Dylan Duke, so Adam Fantilli did not recognize that Duke was trapped, and thus the offside, a minute nine into this period. Michigan now with 40 shots on net. And Michigan with the two DTE energy power play goals tonight. Brindley will center between McCordy and Moyle. And back in the Michigan territory, down to our left, as Michigan goes uh, left to right down on center. Grody finds Brindley on the right hand side. Brindley flips it toward the goal. Now they'll try it again. Brindley went down, trying to shovel a pass back for Pearson, but it was broken up. Johannes up the ice. Trying to go wide on Luca Fantelli, who won't let him go, and then they force a bad pass out center. Just underway, third period. Michigan going left to right with a 6-2 to two lead. And back comes Alley. Good play by Pearson, taking off his stick. He faked the shot, trying to pull the trigger. But Pearson was uh, onto that one. As uh, Luca Fantilli off to the side of his own goal will slide it out center. Prody back in his own zone. Round the net it comes. Willis waits for the Lions. His uh, pass though went astray. And uh, TJ Hughes will dump it right back into uh, Lion territory. And now it goes back to Truscott. He shoots. And the save made by Burnham who's been in there all night. He has seen uh, over 40 shots. I thought at one point Rick Zombo might give Trent Burnham the hook, especially after the fifth goal scored by Jay Karanen. Michigan kind of beat him cleanly on some wrist shots that you think goalies usually are at least going to get a piece of. But Early in the season, Rick Zombo maybe saying, you start, you finish. Now here's a face-off, a shot, whistle, puck out of play. Well, if you wanted to see uh, some scoring by some of the new players, you've seen it. They've had just about every goal has a, a handprint 
of somebody that's brand new on the team. Including Seamus Casey, the defenseman, Adam Fantilli, both with two assists on the night. Here is a shot by Luke Hughes that deflects over the top of the crossbar. Kept alive by Jack Anderson, a big uh, rangy defenseman for these uh, London Wood Lions as it comes out. And got a nice big hit there by Estapa. Boy, he's delivered some crunching blows, hasn't he? 6 2, 206, and he uses that big frame very effectively. Is that what they call an NHL body there? Yeah. As it goes in, Granowitz had to get his elbows up to try to. Oh, here's a Samus game, and he was set up. He opened up, got the good pass across by Holtz, and he just barely missed his hat trick. Now Samus gave it again. Hands off to Adam Fantilli. Stick in and shoots. Boy, he gets him off in a hurry, doesn't he? Comes all the way out center. Now Casey to Holtz. Stephen Holtz drives one in there. And the uh, puck comes back to Duke out in front. Sam Escavich waits. Then he tried to give a pass back to Casey, who kept it alive. Now Dylan Duke. Fakes right, went left, back. We got another penalty call coming up on the Lions. Here is Casey's shot. And that went in behind the goal. Touched by the Lions. And another power play. Power play number six coming. For Michigan. Yeah, turnover right near the Lindenwood blue line. Inside the blue line after the Lions... Thought they had picked off a Mackey. Samuskevich pass. We're able to get it out. Not so quick as Seamus Casey was able to take it away from the Lindenwood player. And then subsequently Kyle Jeffers with the infraction. So Michigan looking for a third power play chance. Or a third power play goal. They've had a couple on six chances so far. Well, you look over that Michigan bench, and a lot of coaching going on. Now it's uh, Truscott. Uh oh, here's Ciccolini shot. That was deflected. Ooh, he felt that probably did. Michigan keeping it in. Here is uh, Ciccolini again, and probably got it in front of another one. Boy, oh boy, he's going to feel those a little later. He's just hobbling out there. And now he tries to block another one. As Ciccolini turns, backdoor feed, in they come, shot by Hughes. And that uh, puck ends up on the near side, 6-3 Michigan on the power play for the sixth time. Ciccolini back for Truscott, he fakes the shot in the deep slot over the right circle. In the back door, here's Hughes, shot, Ciccolini shot, high. Now Hughes, back up by the line, that is T.J. Hughes. And a pass across, blocked in front, oh, almost turned in by Brindley. Now Brindley, out front to Hughes. We've we got another penalty call. A cross-checking call as there's just too many Michigan players out there for the Lions. Penalty comes at an opportune time because T.J. Hughes went to change the angle of his shot. Wound up being stripped to the puck. Lions were headed the other way until there was a cross-checking minor. Detected in front of goaltender Trent Burnham. So this means a two man advantage for 48 seconds for the Wolverines, who we'll come right back with the Fantilli McGroarty Duke combination up front. <laughs> Sam Escavich and Hughes in the back end. Rowdy's probably glad he got a penalty. He took two or three shots and he was limping out there. And uh, finally, he was called. Now he's rested over the penalty box. They said, hey, they can't get me here. <laughs> All right, Michigan on the uh, power play again. On a two-man advantage. Hughes, Fantilli shot wide. Now they another one down to the low circle. Up on top for Fantilli. And uh, Fantilli, they kind of telegraphed that pass, and it was blocked. 
Down goes in behind the goal. Here's a shot. Save. As Burnham has been a busy lad here tonight. Sam gave it shot. That was blocked. Cleared up the boards and down the ice. Just as the penalty to Jeffers expires, so Michigan remains on the power play for another minute as Luke Hughes brings it up ice. And this will be opportunity seven. As Truscott back into his own zone. Fresh Michigan uh, power play unit out. And here comes uh, Gavin Bridley at center ice with Hallam. We got the game's first goal for Michigan, and he's poke check and set down the ice. So Casey all the way back in his own zone. Behind Eric, will pick up the puck. Race out center, drop it back for speed through the neutral zone. Brindley brings it. Now off to Truscott. Jacob finds uh, Seamus Casey to Hughes. Oh, they tried to give it to Truscott on that far circle, but he fanned on it and it sent down the ice. Wholesale change by the Lindenwood Lions. Their first visit ever to Yost in their first year. They played Minnesota last week, as Fred said, lost two games. Second one, they made it very close and they looked like they were going to spoil the uh, party here tonight but Michigan came back with that strong period in the second Fred. Yeah that five goal second period. You know last season Michigan Michigan fans were uh, treated to a power play that featured Matty Veneers, Owen Power, Nick Blankenberg, Kent Johnson. You see the same puck movement on, on this power play so early in the season you know th those one-time passes if they're off just a fraction it, it messes up the timing so I'm, I, I'm seeing plays and situations and passes right here the last couple of minutes on a two-man advantage a one-man advantage as yeah, looks like we have another In a Michigan penalty penalty here where it, it's the timing is just barely off Marcus Stampa Face-off interference. Yeah. Or he no, he played the hand with his he played the puck with his hand. Yeah. You can't do that. Did Marcus stop her? So it evens him up. No, it doesn't. It gives uh, that other penalty just expired. So now. It's the Lions with a power play. And this will be their third. Here's a shot for Tillo's save. Jake Aaron in with a goal of the night. Goes after the puck. Plays it for Boyle. Nolan trying to dish a back pass. As Jeffers comes in, Portillo makes the save. They got a wide open net. They score. As Ryan Finnegan lights it up. And it's six to four in a game that Michigan is dominating. It's a two goal difference. Yeah, shots are three to one in Michigan's favor at 48 to 16, but it's never a good sign when the puck goes in the net and you've got four of your five players, including the goalie, down on the ice have left their skates. And it was finally a wide open net that Ryan Finnegan could deposit the puck into so still a lot of time left here and a two goal lead for Michigan. Boy you would think that a team would just quit and go away but they didn't did they? After that second period. And they've come back. With two goals of their own here in the third and it's a two goal game now. So a power play goal. They're one out of three on the power play. Ciccolini. Back in behind Pertillo. And uh, Hughes's pass up the ice. Will be an icing call on Michigan. And we'll go back down to Michigan territory. Well, when goals come that easy sometimes, you get into bad habits, don't you? 
Well, Michigan brought a 6 2 lead into this third period. They gave up a goal early to Augie, or rather, uh, Ryan Finnegan, who just had that goal with 6 2, and then a, a couple of quick ones here. back into Lindenwood territory a six to four game as uh, Michigan will have some uh, coaching moments after this one huh four goals against yeah it, it seems to be one of those games out where the breakdowns when they break down it's a total breakdown you know you're seeing you know sometimes it's been giving up odd man rushes after all kinds of action at the other end so you get maybe focused on on the goal and scoring and that offensive pressure and then back defensively there have been some issues with turning the puck over and issues with coverage down low too I give the, the Lions a lot of credit here on how they have not quit And you would expect that from a first-year team. I mean, that's one of the intangibles that coaches are going to be looking for, knowing that maybe they're going to be undermanned a little bit in terms of talent, but nobody should outwork them. Now the play back in the Michigan Territory. Steve Holtz played it up, trying to get it on the return pass. He's way up the ice. Intercepted by uh, Lindenwood, but Casey will follow up now for Michigan. At center ice it comes. Michigan moving on the... Down to the right, into Lion territory. That puck rolls out in front, but nobody but Lions there to clear it out center. And here they come again. Finnegan trying to play it in the center, and way up in the play was Jakobchuk. As Estepa will play the puck back for his own defense. Six to four on a score. A little over nine minutes remaining in the third. Now the Lindenwood Lions will play it up to center. Keaton Pearson stops on the puck just inside his own blue line. And then Draper sent it down the ice. That'll be icing. And Michigan will have to defend a faceoff. Well, Michigan opting to go with seven defensemen and 12 forwards tonight. Of course, you can either dress an extra forward or a defenseman. And maybe Brandon Dorado using the same logic in dressing Jake Carradine as a seventh defenseman because Jay, if necessary, can be used as a forward. A Swiss Army knife type. Here's Johannes' shot. That goes out of play. And a reminder that as the... All right, back is Michigan out to the faceoff. Puck goes out of play. I was wondering what the team colors would be for Lindenwood. I thought maybe... Would be blue. You know the old steal the old blue note. Well, they play out of the St. Louis Blues practice facility in St. Charles, St. Louis suburb. It's a three sheet complex with another outdoor sheet. As you remember, the University of St. Louis had one of the original CCHA teams. The Billikens. The Billikens. Until 1979, and then with problems with the expense of the, uh, I guess the uh, Perina company and the arena, and the you know, the cost of it, they just had a pull. They had a choice, but the Billikens decided to keep basketball and take hockey away. They were one of the early powerhouses in the CCHA. They were. Here's Holtz, long shot all the way through. Heard him with a save. Boy, that young man's going to sleep well tonight. As the puck goes to the corner, here is uh, Holtz now all the way through. Burnham save. Holds on, no rebound, face off coming up. Well, there was uh, Ohio U, Bowling Green, right? Lake Superior State. Lake Superior. One of the originals, I think, yeah, Ron Mason was originally at Lake Superior State. Ohio State 
was part of that in and out. They had, I think Kent State had a team in the early days of the CCHA. The Golden Flashes. That'd be a good trivia question. What was their name before they were Golden Flashes? Here's a shot. Draft choice of the Rangers. And it's seven to four. Yeah, Eric tipped that one in on Hughes' shot. Great to see. On the 53rd shot on goal. into Michigan territory. And Fantilli turns. That's Adam Fantilli on center ice, a little bit too far from Samo, who has two of this one. And uh, Pete Pearson. Dylan Duke sent it out center ice. Back into Littlewood territory. 53-17 the shots, but the score is much closer, seven to four. And Sam Escapes will bump one up the uh, ice. Anna Fantilli will chase it. Fantilli, he'll go into the corner with you. And it comes loose. And uh, played again by Lindenwood's Lions as they come out of their own zone up ahead to the Michigan line. Augie had a bouncing puck right at the line. And Wozniak goes to the corner, keeps the puck alive, but then T.J. Hughes came back to take it away. T.J. Hughes goes left to right down into Lindenwood territory. And they break that rush up, and Jumpers will lay it down the ice where Portillo sweeps it aside for Jake Truscott to Luke Hughes. Hughes eyes him up at center, finds the right lane. Comes on over to the right-hand side, stops to the corner, trying to play it out in front for Draper. That puck was knocked away, picked up by the Lions. With five and a half to go, they trail Michigan seven to four, and that's an icing call on the Lions. Now, what kind of odds do you think you could get, Al, if I told you before the game, seven Michigan goals, how many points would Luke Hughes have? Yeah, exactly. He's off the score sheet. You know, that's not going to last for very long. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Michigan Hockey on Learfield. Face off the Lions and down to our right and across the way. 7 to 4 the score. Yeah, what would the odds have been? <laughs> Here's, uh, here's Casey bringing it in on side. Granowitz with a goal in the game as it comes out center. Luca Fantilli up to uh, Granowitz. And but, then the Lions send it back. By the way, we should mention Luke Hughes has eight shots on goal. In this wow. game. Eight of the 53. Ooh. Granowitz got a uh, stick up under the mask, but he continues. He's okay. Casey, look at that. Look at that move. He's ahead into the corner. And here's a centering pass. And Moyle trying to jam it home as it bounces back into Michigan territory. Watch out! And a bouncing puck ended up on the stick of uh, Andy Willis. He has it again. Willis to the corner. As they play it out in front, here's a shot blocked. As the defenseman, Caleb Price, took it. Now Johannes in behind the goal. And they uh, bang it in around there. Michigan trying to get it out. The Lions keeping it in. As uh, it's tipped out center, there's going to be a penalty on Michigan for tripping. 
hooking the actual call as the forward Johannes was pulled down handling the puck just inside the Michigan blue line so the Lindenwood Lions are afforded their fourth power play their fourth power play chance of the night they are one for three Michigan has had uh, seven there are two for seven on their DT energy power play. And now it's the Lions trying to cut this uh, three goal deficit the way second here's Samus Gavich. Down with Fantilli. He waits and he tried to feather it across and he still has it. It went off the skate. He still hung out to it. And now Fantilli trying to work it away from some of the Lions that are left back there. They're trying to align and uh, Michigan's not making it easy for him. Yeah, Jeffers. A forward playing the point of the power play. He was defending the two on one against Samuskevich and Adam Fantilli, and was able to knock Samuskevich's pass out of midair. Or Fantilli who was in alone looking for his first college goal. Good his hustle by Ganya kept it uh, play into the zone. Now Hughes picks it up. And Hughes says, wait a second, I'm going to go for a skate here as he brings it all the way out center. And he'll bring it all the way back by his own line. Killing time on the penalty clock. He looks up at it, drifts over in his left hand circle. Nobody bothering him, so he just hangs on to it. Gave it off to Holtz, and Holtz <laughs> all the way down. And we have 2.45 left in the game. Power play, 37 seconds for the Lions. As they're right at the line, they come in, but too many defenders. As uh, Carradine trying to clear the zone, Willis is shot off to the side of the net. Comes dangerously out front, but cleared by Jay Carradine down the ice. Jay's bent over. He's hurt. He's going to go off. Now that puck comes back in the Michigan territory. Jackson Hallam picks it up, sends it all the way down the ice. And Boyle trying to give Burnham some picks down there. Burnham came way out of the net to play it up on the circle. Michigan back to full strength. So they've killed three of the four power plays. Luca Fantelli trying to get a handle on it. Here's Keaton. Here's the deep in Michigan territory skated all the way up by the blue line. Boyle trying to cut to the middle. A lot of traffic just inside that Lindenwood line. 135 to go now in the game and a 7-4 Michigan lead. And an offside right at the Lions blue line. Now Michigan trailed 2-0. About 15 minutes into this game, but they have outscored Lyndon Wood 7-2. Boyd by a five-goal second period outburst. Mackie Samuskevich with two of those five. Now here's a chance, Price. Move. Renowitz went in hard to the end boards. He's okay. He popped right back up. Now that puck on the near side. Here goes Grenlow at center ice. Sends it ahead. Rucker McGroarty waits. He's got, ooh, he had Keenan Draper coming down the slot. Draper takes it out, turns, fires, and it went right through the goal bound. Less than a minute to go in the game. Michigan with a three goal lead. Now Holtz up the right-hand side into Lindenwood territory and behind the goal. He tried to center it. He had McCrory out in front. But it was broken up there by the Lion defense, and they'll ease it out center. Anderson on the go with Allard. Allard drops it in for Johannes. Tried to play it out in front. Granowitz was there. Here's another shot that went wide of the Michigan goal. Now there's 28 seconds left. Lions have it again. Johannes is... Uh, Back pass out front, stuck away by Stephen Holt, sit out center. Now down to 15 seconds as the play way back into uh, Lion territory, and then they're going to ice it. But they went off the Michigan player, so they'll wave it off. And Holtz, oh, he gave it away right out in front. And they finally, they hardly the sound, but I think Holtz thought the time was over. He Gave it up, but nothing came of it. Seven four five. 
Seven four final. Michigan celebrates win number one in their first regular season game of this 2022-23 campaign.